Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate design and simulation of half wave control rectifier for RL load in PSIM. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it. Only then you will get the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get into our topic for today. So, this is a circuit diagram of a half wave control rectifier. So, we are basically using one switch for half wave conduction and consequently the type of load that we have chosen according to our design is RL load. So, what happens uh, when we are using RL load? So, the waveform slightly differs with respect to R load which is already demonstrated in our previous video. So, how does it differ? Let us simulate that and see. But before that, how do we design these type of circuits? That is one of the most important things, isn't it? So, these are the design parameters that we have taken into consideration basically if you are doing these uh, experiments in your laboratory we need to have certain requirements without that we will never be able to start any design so let us assume these are our requirements we are doing it for a firing angle of 30 degree and the supply voltage that is considered is 230 volt the uh, angle beta is taken as to be equal to 165 deg 160 degree and uh, the power factor will be equal to 0.95 lagging because uh, for an inductive load the power factor will be lagging in nature so the reason why uh, it's lagging because we have an inductor so uh, for an RL circuit what is the response when it is connected to AC supply it's already explained in one of our previous video please do watch it it is available in our channel so let's start off with our design procedure first step is to determine the average value of output voltage how do we do that V out is equal to Vm into cos alpha minus cos beta whole divided by 2 pi substituting and solving we'll be getting 93.50 volt our next step is to determine the RMS value of output voltage and uh, we'll be substituting the formula for VRMS and uh, we'll be getting 160 volt. Once we have found the average value and RMS value of output voltage, our next step is to determine the inductance value. How do we find that? Phi is equal to tan inverse of omega L by R. Consequently, cos phi is given as to be equal to 0.95 and we'll be finding the value of phi that is 18.19 degree that is basically the power factor angle. So substituting and solving you'll be getting an inductance of 10 milli henry. So once we have all the design parameters clear and we know what is the expected output average output voltage and RMS output voltage that we want. So once we have a clear picture of this let us go there uh, in PSIM and simulate the circuit and check the waveform and we also uh, will be checking the average value of output voltage and RMS value of output voltage. Here we are in PSIM uh, right over here there is a toolbox where there are uh, elements basic elements that are already there. So if in case you don't have this you can go there uh, to the element section and add those correct corresponding blocks based on your requirement. So we need an AC supply so uh, drag and drop that we need a thigh resistor so uh, drag and drop that as well and once that is done we need a resistor rotate it by right clicking on the mouse and we also need an inductor that should be connected in series with the resistor. Once all of these are done let us connect it according to our circuit diagram so it should be connected a resistor and inductor should be shorted uh, in this particular fashion. And uh, once all of these are done, uh, we need a gating block in order to trigger the thyristor. So we'll be connecting it in this particular fashion. Now let's start entering the parameters according to our design. So as I uh, mentioned in my previous video as well, we need to enter the value as 200 into uh, 230 into root 2 so that is basically uh, 325.26 so this is one of the most important steps a lot of students make a mistake here by directly mentioning um, 230 volt but the peak amplitude is 325.26 be very careful with respect to it to 230 into root 2 once you have this value set up we have to double click on the gating block change this frequency to 50 hertz the reason is very simple because uh, the synchronous Synchronization with respect to the circuit will take place only when we have it to be equal to 50 Hertz in PSIM. If you are choosing uh, the switching frequency as uh, 5 kilohertz or 50 kilohertz, uh, it doesn't synchronize and it will act as an uncontrolled rectifier and does not make any difference with respect to your circuit. You can cross verify that as well but choose the frequency to be equal to 50 Hertz. So once uh, this is also done, we will be choosing a resistor of about 10 ohm and the inductance value that we have chosen is 10 milli entry. So we will be entering that. So once all these values are entered, our uh, next step is to connect a voltage probe between the supply terminals and the load terminals in order to see, in order to check the supply voltage and the load load voltage. So we'll be connecting it in this particular fashion and we'll be connecting across the load in this particular fashion. So once uh, both of these are done, we need a simulation control in order to control the runtime of the simulation. Set it to 0.1 seconds so that we can see a long duration of the waveform at the output end. So let the time step be as it is. Close this window. Go to simulate and run simulation. 
now uh, select the ones that you want to see the output waveform for so this is our output waveform so we can categorically separate them by using this window but we're not going to do that if you carefully observe the output voltage goes in the negative direction due to the presence of the inductor and it again becomes equal to zero uh, in this particular fashion so this is the exact waveform that we want in case of a half wave control rectifier for rl load so let us uh, confirm our analysis by measuring the rms value and our average value so click on this and if you see here you'll be getting the average value rms value 160.75 that is the rms value of this and supply voltage rms value is 230 volt usually as i mentioned students will make mistake as entering 230 volt over there in the simulation but we have to not do that we have to mention the peak amplitude because they're asking us the peak amplitude in this simulation and once that is done how do we measure the average value click on this you'll be getting 94.24 which is almost the same value that we are supposed to get so this is how we'll be simulating a half wave control rectifier for RL load I hope the design and uh, the simulation is clearly understood uh, so uh, if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you